Dank u voor uw aandacht. It's nice to not to be the only person who can't speak English particularly well. <clears throat> My English will be perfect after Nikki's speech there. Um, this is a special occasion for us. It's so special. I was just telling the Prime Minister I went out yesterday and got a haircut. I was very quick to tell him I paid for it myself. And I will not be using it as a tax deductible expense. <clears throat> However, when I left home this morning, I took a look at a rather small swimming pool we have at home in Auckland, and uh, it kind of looked like a moat to me. So I thought I might phone uh, Mr. Brown tonight and see if I can get someone to come over from the UK and clean it for me, seeing as it seems to be what they're doing over there. We laugh about these sort of things, but in reality, um, there's a lot of people around the world, around New Zealand, looking at their expenses. And I want to talk a little bit about what we're doing here in Wellington and New Zealand and see whether or not we can help some of you if we aren't already in terms of um, driving some efficiencies in your organization. What we've done here in Wellington is uh, really created an environment that we hope will encourage collaboration with not just our customers but our suppliers as well. We want to work with all of you to see if we can drive some efficiencies through your organization, um, particularly obviously in the document management space. Um, this started out as a, a sort of six-month project. It became uh, a nine-month project. We had our first anniversary in January this year. Uh, we're now heading in, or we're now into July, 18 months later. Um, we finished doing the finishing touches probably a couple of days ago, Brendan, I think, if I recall. And I guess, really, that wasn't a reflection on Hierarchy Design, the company that did the design here for us, or CMAC and some of those guys are here today that constructed it, it was really the constant change in technology. No sooner than we thought about an idea and we wanted to implement it, that along came something else that was faster, more efficient, and quite often cheaper. And we really ran across, I guess, the same thing that our customers run across every day, is that no sooner than you grab an opportunity to drive some efficiencies in your business, when along comes something else. Um, I'd like to say that, he, here at RICO now, we believe that we have a lot of the smarts um, to enable you to future-proof your business. And we're not going to have an opportunity tonight to go through it all with you, but certainly at a later stage, we would like to invite um, those of you who aren't our customers to come and spend a couple of hours with us and see what it is we can do to help um, drive some, some savings in your own business. The reality is that... Um, in New Zealand, it, uh, our marketplace now is not just local, it's not national, it's international. We've got an opportunity with some of the technology we have to showcase your products and services throughout the, um, the whole of the world. And I'm pretty pleased with what I've been hearing from our new government that there's going to be a lot of investment to, into infrastructure because the reality is that um, in challenging times as we have here, if we're going to grow our economy in New Zealand and we need an infrastructure that's going to support that. And um, Eureka, we're, uh, we're pretty excited about that. We believe that um, we've got some technology that can help everybody achieve that goal. And uh, I'd just like to say to uh, all the government people that are here today that um, we're here able and willing and, and keen to help. I want to introduce our guest speaker. I've had, uh, I've had the opportunity to do this in the past, but... Uh, never in, in his capacity as uh, Prime Minister. Before I do, I'd just like to say that uh, these really are challenging times. Um, I think it'd be fair to say that the incoming government's been handed a challenge greater than any challenge any of us have experienced in our living lives. And uh, I, for one, think that um, we're in particularly good hands. So it uh, gives me great pleasure to introduce the Prime Minister of New Zealand, Honourable John Key. <laughs> 